So it's been five months actually since I made this War Sword Conquest update video. In the comment section of that video, somebody was saying there was going to be another update that requires a new save. So I was like, okay, I'll just wait for that. I also kind of verified this on the Discord. Like there was a lot of talks about an update, it seemed at the time. But I think what they're referring to is this Big Monster sub mod, which currently does not have a release date, but some of the R just popped up on their Discord and it looks really cool. Instead of waiting for that to release, we're going to start over yet again as kind of the hero of the lizard men who are at war with everyone and we are at war with everyone. We can only go into lizard men towns. The lizard men also got an update where if you get 500 renown, you can go into one of their towns and you can access their temple. And I don't actually know what's in the temple, but I think some really powerful stuff. To gain renown easily, we're going to clear out dungeons and there's 10 tiers of dungeons. The rule is going to be we can only clear out each level of dungeon once. And for every level of dungeon that we clear, we're going to multiply that by 100 and add that to our renown. Doing that, I'm hoping we'll eliminate a lot of the grind. And as for our character starting stats, I've chosen anything that basically benefits our combat ability. To gain renown easily, we're going to go try to clear out a dungeon, but first we found this companion Nakawacha who is free at the first Lizardman town and we got some Amazon warriors that we can hire. For 160 dinars, that's going to be all of our money. Unless we want to sell off this grain and this chess piece that I guess is worse than what we were using. We can use that as some of these villages to recruit some volunteers. We can recruit 13 skink hatchlings. After patrolling around for a little while, we found this clan pestilence patrol trying to take out some villagers. Before we engage this, I'm going to put all of our units to some party unnamed two, I guess. And what this is going to allow me to do is have the villagers charge in as kind of a meat shield. And then unnamed two is going to be able to follow me. So all of our units are going to sit back while the villagers do meat shield for us. Also, before we get into the combat, this is my difficulty setting. Everything is normal, good. No reduced damage to my units or myself, basically. And here we go. One villager already done. So yeah, they have some gunners and uh, I completely forget like what the units are, but this is going to be exciting, I think. Just like uh, building up our army and remembering all the units. I think it's going to be pretty fun. So I lost two skink hatchlings for that, so that's minus 20, but we got two captured enemies, but we don't have any prisoner management, although we can still take two prisoners. At a nearby town, there is a ransom broker, and we'll sell those prisoners for 332. Plus we got like, I think it was 60 for winning the battle, so we're up to almost 400, and there's a potion vendor here. We should buy as many healing potions as we can. Those come in really clutch when we're in dungeons. Outside the town, there's four more of these clan pestilence patrols, so we should run them down. And I upgraded three units to the Saurus Warriors. It was pretty cheap to do so and they leveled up after the battle. But uh, we're gonna have them tank with their shields and hopefully they're gonna be not getting one-shotted. And the Amazonian girl is kind of not really supposed to be running in first, but that's all right. I'll try to take out this guy in the back. In the head, I think. Good amount of damage. This guy is freaking beastly, what the heck? Oh man, that guy's owning. We have like no wound treatment, I think, or surgery or whatever. So our units are going to be getting killed. 230 XP for that kill, very nice. Party over here, Amazon Huntresses. These are really powerful units and they could drop their mounts, which would be a big come up. They're running, but like they're running in a weird way because it was from the edge. So I think, nice, we got them. Let's get in the water so we don't have to deal with their mounts. It's actually a really good battlefield. I was kind of worried that they throw javelins at us. Two of them do have javelins, but it looks like they're just going to charge, which is good. Yeah, just fight them in the uh, water. One knocked out, very nice. So the Saurus Warriors, and I believe the Skinks as well, have clubs, which is really good. We can knock people out. We also keep mine, since we got the level up, I put another point into Prisoner Management. So since we knocked out all three of those guys, we actually didn't lose anyone. Two Saurus Warriors just got knocked out. We can capture all three of those guys though. And alright, so that was a really nice come up. The Skyr Gunner is going to sell for 140, Plague Monk for 192, and the Huntresses for 192 a pop. Bringing us up to 1100, we are rolling in the cash right now. We ran into the Lizardman army and I started asking them for quests and apparently they declared peace with a few factions already. Because as soon as we join them as a mercenary, we're not at war with a few factions, but once we leave being a mercenary of them, we'll continue being at war with every faction. And yeah, if we look at the faction relations tab, they already declared truces with 
with the High Elves, Chaos Dwarves, Chaos, and Arabi. And over here, we got a bunch of Lizardmen ambushing this Tome Lord. We're going to help them, and we're just going to auto-calc this. And we didn't actually lose any units. And we actually captured this Tome Lord, but I don't think there's anything we can do with him. We do have some captured enemies, though, that we can take. I think it's almost better just to dump this guy. Uh, we can't actually release him from this menu. In other mods like Pandor, you can sell off these lords instantly. But in this mod, you have to wait for their faction to ransom them. I think maybe toss out the Tome Guard for the Lancer. Master of Arrows sounds pretty good. Let's toss out the Horseman for the Master of Arrows. And yeah, if we talk to this guy, you were made my prisoner, you're free to go. That's the only options. It's going to piss him off that we just talked to him, but whatever. So back at one who pack, there was still the Ransom Broker. We cannot ransom this guy off, but we can ransom the Screaming Skull Thrower for 192, Acropolis Knight for 500, Skeleton Lancer for 192, and the Master of Arrows for only 140. The three major Lizardman towns are Itza, Zwan who pack, and Tlax. We checked both these and there were no good companions there or people that we could hire, but let's check Tlax. On the way over to the next town, we ran into a battle between the Lizardmen and Goblins, and we helped out the Lizardmen and captured three dudes. There's no Ransom Broker at this town, but we can sell them to the Innkeeper for, I think, a little bit less. The Squig Rider's 378 still, though. River Troll is 612, and the Rider Boss is 241. I'm not sure if that's a discounted price, but we just sold them to the Cavern Keeper, and to the left over here, we got a Goro that we can hire. Both of them actually will join us for 1700. We should probably do that, and they can help us with the dungeon. This is a tier 1 dungeon, though, so it might be doable, but... Uh... Uh, yeah, everyone get ready to charge. I'm gonna tank for a little bit as long as I can. The girl is gonna beast. The girl is very beastly. You keep that in mind. Like, it might be able to solo this whole dungeon for us, the level one. Mm, careful, guys. Try to get around these dudes. Just try to draw some aggro. I don't know. Oh, crap. I don't know what my allies are doing. Ow, oh, that hurts. It's gonna be a healing potion, probably. Well, that was not the best played by me because that damage is not going to be healed unless I take a healing potion. So that's not the exit. And one of my dudes is getting run down actually by a naked man. Just let the girl just take him out. This girl is a good investment, that's for sure. I mean, towards the end, I think we can just run to the exit though. I'd rather not fight anything we don't have to. Pretty sure this is the exit. Hopefully no one gets knocked out. Yeah, it is. Nice. Load next dungeon. I think we have to do this like six more times. And any damage that I take is going to be carried over to the next dungeon. The damage that these guys take is healed though after each one. Oh god, they have arrows. This is bad. The girl is very susceptible to arrow fire. I'm going to hold off on taking a healing potion until I know more about like if this is going to be successful or not. We have to charge. I'm trying to get them like out of line of sight, but it's not working. Okay, just charge. I guess that guy just wants to charge. I don't know. This is really a bad layout. Like, this is brutal. I'm gonna try to draw aggro, but this is where the girl could get taken out easily. Get this thing out. Easy. Drawing aggro from them if I can. For my allies. Those things are weak. The ghouls. I don't know where the girl is. It feels like it's not in here. I think I can just run to the exit. Yeah, I'm here. Let's go to the exit. Yes, made it. Alrighty, this layout is not good for the Goro, I think. I don't know if we can make it out of this little cave area. It does get stuck sometimes in these layouts. Hold this position, pull back, wait for them to come in. I don't know if the Goro can actually fight in this area. Yeah, it's getting... Yeah, we have to charge out of here. It's stuck. Oh god, this is not good. We have to just push out. Um, not sure if I want to heal. Okay, whatever. They've added a lot of smaller parties that you can fight early on, which I think is really cool. From that party we just fought, we captured this Imperial Captain and these Imperial Crossbowmen. In this tavern, there's a couple companions. This guy, Dual Clique, has four trade, which we could use to get better trade prices. It does cost 800 gold, though. I think it's worth it. And then this guy, Florin Detard, is actually a pretty good fighter. But he is going to be 600. That's going to be most of our money. We hired 10 Skin Cashlings for 100 gold. That was all of our money. But we ran into these 14 Skaven Corsairs, which I'm not... Not sure if we can fight. We'll try it though. As long as they're not engaging us, we can run at any time. Oh, and this is really cool. I've never seen this art before. So this is definitely added recently. Very cool Skaven arts. We have 24 versus 14, but do keep in mind, 10 of our units are just hatchlings. And all right, here they come. Let's have everyone just start charging. Looks like a lot of these guys don't have ranged weapons from what I can see. Maybe these Skaven Corsairs are all about melee. I think we win that though, for sure. I'm not really able to draw any of their aggro to me, which is fine. Let's 
guy looks like he's one of the more high tier because how fast he's attacking. I don't want to take damage from this thing, but I think it's really beastly. Oh, a dual Kalik has helped me out. He came with a horse, so that's nice. I was not able to steal it, and yeah, that was a veteran Corsair I just took out. We only lost one unit off of that. Six got wounded, so that's pretty good. We captured 16 units, and we actually captured the Nervous Man as well. We did a quest for a Lord, and there was an option actually to capture him. We didn't even have to kill him. Now he's taking him to a prisoner slot though, which is kind of annoying. And wow, this could be a massive battle that I don't think the Lizardmen are gonna win. I just need to talk to Old Blood Go Wreck. Oh, there he is. I need to run him down and give him the nervous man and then just get the heck out of here. I apprehended him and I brought him here to see justice done at 450 XP and we'll take the money. We need the money. And as for this battle, I think we just run. We're not going to worry about that. In the tavern, there is another potion seller and I think we should probably buy all their healing potions always. We can sell them this armor for way less than it said. There's actually some Corsairs over here. I wonder if they would let us engage them. Oh, they will. Wow. I hired 40 of these skink hatchlings for 400 gold, and I'm just going to use them as cannon fodder. And if they die, they die. It's not that big of a deal. It's really easy to recruit people from villages now. I was able to recruit 23 of them at one time from one village. Yeah, they're getting kind of owned, but that's all right. They're just here for cannon fodder purposes. We only lost two of them, and we do have a lot more prisoner size because I think this is based on how many units we have in a party. And I did put another point into prisoner management, and we can upgrade 17 of them to Soros Warriors. So just like that, we're actually looking pretty good. With our new army, we engaged these Amazon Raiders, and they actually engaged us at the very end. So there's no retreating from this. They are going to run us down to the last man. We get A renown for winning this, so that means they are very strong. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can do here. I have a feeling we might get smashed, but building back up is not the hardest thing in the world. Just because it's so easy to recruit villagers now, so yeah. I think we're okay though. Like their cavalry just charge in immediately and they get absolutely taken out. And that's some of their stronger units. So when it comes to their calculations, they're thinking the cavalry are going to be, you know, giving them an edge when in reality they're just charging in. Pretty naked tribal women by the looks of it. We are some beastly lizard men. We are getting absolutely annihilated though in terms of our skink hashlings. I told the to charge in first. Well, that girl actually had the dodge ability. She dodged my attack. So yeah, people do have uh, the combat abilities. I think the dodge ability is based on your agility. Maybe it's based on athletics. That'd make more sense actually. We did lose 10 skin catchlings, so that's 100 gold down, but what we got was way more than 100 gold. Look at all these prisoners. Oh, we got a bunch of units that we can rescue. Skink War Chiefs, these are amazing. 81 wage. And the Huichi Riders are really good too. 57 wage for these guys. We got four of them. A couple Skink Warriors, 19 wage, and then some Sauruses. And yeah, I'm not sure which units we should pick up. I'm thinking the Imperial Swordsmen and the Jaguar Warriors seem like the more beastly ones. And wow, we got a bit of a revelation here. So in the town, there's Ugaluk Snaggletooth, which is a ogre companion. He's pretty beastly, I think. And then we got some skink priests, which I don't remember if these are good in dungeons at least, but we will try it out. And there's a ransom broker too. Very nice. If we sell this raider Amazon mistress to this guy, it's 322. If we sell it to the tavern keep, it's 241. So you actually do get ripped off for selling these prisoners to the tavern keep. So yeah, we'll sell the mistresses for 322, mounted huntress for 192 a pop, imperial swordsman for only 96. Yeah. Yeah, he was not worth bringing along. Should have brought along another Jaguar warrior. But that was quite a big chunk of change. We're up to 3,300. So the problem with Ugaluk Snaggletooth is he dislikes a companion that we kind of need later on who's way beastlier than him. So I don't think it's worth investing the 3k into him. We will pick up the Skink Priest though for 1226. And we're heading over to Chakwa Dungeon, but we got ambushed by some Amazon Raiders that seem like are going to be pretty easy to take out. So the only thing he casted so far is Shield. And then he casted Curse of the Midnight Wind. Nearby enemy troops have their special abilities hex. Wait, don't take out. No, not my skink. Oh, there we go. He casted lightning storm. I guess it's like an AoE. We didn't lose anything major off that battle, but we got some pretty nice stuff again. A lot of these Huichi riders. Oh, wow. We got our weekly budget. We're paying 2000 per week for our wages right now. But the mercenary payment is giving us 400, which is nice. That's going to run out soon though. But we are going to push on towards Chakwa Dungeon before we go back to sell these prisoners off. We can choose our dungeon companions. We're going to choose the Goral, the mercenary, skink priest, the caster thing. And then I think the skink war chief. It's a medium length dungeon so it could be like six rooms I think. I think we can just charge through this one. Oh no, I'm facing not the right way. These guys are not aware actually of our presence. 
Oh, yeah, we have a caster, so I should keep him back. Uh, follow me, caster. Charging, though. Don't get taken out, please. Okay, everyone's just doing whatever they want, but looks like we're okay here. Oh, we got the chest, too. So we got a really nice armor piece that I don't think I can put on. This thing is not that good. And then some cheese, but wow, that is a good chest piece. Looks like the Goral is just going to charge. I think that's okay because I'm pretty sure it can take a few shots. So even if it gets hit by a couple of arrows, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, it's fine. Just a flesh wound. Just a flesh wound. Let's just get out of here, actually. Yep. Don't want to mess with that. I think one more arrow could have taken it out, maybe. I just don't want to test it. Oh, God. Keeping everyone back for now. Mm. Oh my god, the Goral got killed already? How? Doesn't it heal after each? I don't think it- I think that was the first arrow that hit it. It's crazy. Well, we lose, I think. We can back out, I'm pretty sure. We can get another Goral. I don't- yeah, the Skink Priest just got knocked out too. We're gonna sell the prisoners that we picked up in an earlier battle. Or quite a bit. The goal is 408. So we made it back to the dungeon, and I think we're just gonna try again with this lineup. I think I see the exit. I'm not even gonna. Yeah, there's dudes on either side, but I'm just gonna sprint towards the exit here. Alright, we made it past round one pretty easily. Round two is looking like not the best layout. It's very wide open, which is bad, but maybe our skink priest can cast some spells. It did cast some spells in the whatchamacallit earlier. But I don't really care about that battlefield. We need it to cast spells in the dungeon. Oh my god. It got knocked out already. Yeah, that thing sucks. Oh my god. So the Skink Priest officially was a terrible investment. At least for what I'm trying to do right now. But there is a lot of units on this party over here. I would rather not fight these guys together. And okay, as we are chasing them, another party came in to help, but they were not close enough to the other party, so we're gonna be able to take them out one by one. This one's just 23 units. Looks like a lot of them are mounted. We have a lot of mounted units ourselves. I probably should have had them charge, actually, right away, but it's all right. And I'm knocked out. As for this other party, since I got knocked out, I don't really want to fight them because I would have to auto-calc the battle, I think. They might just run us down, though. Although, before they engage us, I could use a healing potion. I'm going to do that, I think. If I go to camp, take an action, drink a potion, or use item, drink a healing potion. There we go. I don't like doing that, but now I can actually fight this battle on the field. Quite a few of our units did get knocked out in the previous battle as well. So, yeah, we're going to have to use every tactic in the book here to uh, win this one. It's a lot of freaking mounted units as well. So, they would have done really well in the auto calc, I think. But we have the high ground. And that is going to be our saving grace, I think. Hopefully. A lot of people are getting knocked out though. I could see us losing this for sure. Although I'm seeing we're kind of turning it a little bit. Yeah, we're doing better. I think we're okay. We have 19, they have 18. Wow, this is actually a lot closer than maybe it should have been. But uh, I think we're okay. Still have faith. 17 to 11. Yeah, I think we lost a lot of like our lower tier units at the start. Alrighty, well we did win. 32 wounded, one killed for us, which is not bad. We only wounded 11 of them. 10 mounted huntresses and a ride of boss. And we rescued a Reichsguard Knight. This dude is going to be beastly in a dungeon, I think. Great sword might be pretty good. His armor looks pretty beastly as well. The mounted huntresses, we have 14 of them for 144 a pop. And everything else is going to get us up to 4,200. Since I got pretty wounded in that battle towards the end, I'm down to 30% HP. Fuck. I'm going to hit up the major taverns and see if we can spend some of our money before we go back to the dungeon. I found another potion seller at, I think it's Itza. They have a couple potions of knowledge as well that give 1,000 XP each. I wonder if that's worth. Might as well. Hopefully there's no good companions here though. We probably should be saving our money for some good companions. But yeah, we can drink those potions of knowledge. And that's going to give us some XP. We're up to level 6 now. And let's get another point of Agi just so we can get 3 in Weapon Master and Shield. And I'm basically just spamming points into Strength. Otherwise, I also put 1 point of Charisma so that we could get up to 3 Prisoner Management. And here we go. We got a Skaven Underworld Caravan with 40 units that we could probably ambush, I think. As Tribute, they will give us 539 dinars. Or we can just attack them for everything they have. Let's do that. And just remember that we can actually raid villages for money. We should probably be doing that. I think that's a much better way to gain money it's gonna lower our honor and stuff but i don't know if we care about honor as lizardmen 
And our Skink Priest actually is doing work. Maybe it only casts if there's like a lot of enemies grouped up. Do keep in mind I did see some screaming skull throwers and I'm seeing them do AoE in our group of units, which is not good. And this is not a good place to fight. We're kind of in a bad spot here. And it looks like we're actually losing a lot of units. There's some AoE right there. They're hitting some nice AoE shots in our group of units. Oh my goodness. Screaming Skull Dead Eyes. Yeah, let's do AoE damage. And uh, if we lose a lot of units here, that is not that bad actually because we just paid our wage and it's uh, 2k I think a week. Am I getting 2v1 here? What's going on? Is that my girl? Hopefully that's my girl. And alright. How are we doing? 23 to 6. Okay, few. We lost 27 units. The Reichsgarten Knight. Ouch. A lot of Huichi Raiders too, but they had a really high wage cost, so I'm actually kind of glad they died. Hopefully we get some fat loot. We got two captured enemies. Not great. Two Huichi Raiders back, but as far as the loot, five items on the ground. Whoa. What is that loot from the caravan? Bro, they are so stingy with the loot when it comes to certain aspects of this game. Also, apparently the dude that we had as prisoner just escaped or something randomly. We did not get any money for it. So yeah, it is kind of hard to make money in this game unless you raid villages. I think that's gonna be our plan to, you know, get rich. And we can't currently do a dungeon because I'm low on HP, although we do have a lot of healing potions. So it wouldn't be that bad if I just chug one and we just head into the dungeon. Let's try to take on Scorpilax and see what happens. I'm scared because there could be a lord nearby. These villagers want to fight. What the hell? Wait, what is going on here? A bunch of units just got AoE down by the skink priest. They're all dead over there. And I don't know where these guys came from. They just spawned on top of us, but yeah, the skink priest looks like he does his AoE if there's enough units grouped up. That's so, ah, we slay the villagers, 61 of them. So he pretty much took out most of them. 10 renowned for that. Plunder the village, then raise it. And now we gotta just watch for the lords. Oh, there's a lord. We gotta run from that. Wanna continue looting this village? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think we can fight undead Captain Raymond Salisbury. He's got a necromancer. 10 depth guards. I don't know what those are. Cannon master sound beastly. Yeah, I don't think we can do it. Well, we tried back to uh, being poor, I guess. Oh, we got a bunch of lizardmen over here. Wait, we could actually do the come up. I'm surprised that guy tried to go for me when I was raiding that village. Okay, with their help, we can actually maybe raid this. Hopefully they don't get to it before me. Nice. I'm gonna plunder the village and raise it and they're gonna guard. This is perfect. Please don't make it by our units. This is actually really good. Might be able to get this off. We did 195 dinars plus. There we go. This is what you should get from taking out a caravan, in my opinion. I know the loot is shared between like your companions and stuff. And uh, crap, we don't have enough inventory management. Just dump like the weapons and stuff. Those are not going to sell for much. But uh, yeah, that was a nice come up. We're going to head back home now, I think. Unless we want to stick around and see if we can capture some of the lords. But who cares if we capture a lord? He's just going to escape eventually. And they're never going to ransom him back. So why even do it? On the way back to vendor our goods, we chased some Amazon raiders towards towards Talax and we were able to take them out as they were battling some villagers and got a little bit of stuff from that not a crazy amount like three of these raider mounted huntresses I think we got from that battle the Eshin assassin actually sells for a lot mainly though we can sell off all these goods and they do sell for different prices at different towns I believe I know it's like that in other mods but I'm not sure in this one we're just gonna sell it all to this town though for quite a bit 5,000 for that haul with that money we're gonna pick up Volans at this lizardman town who has a really good riding skill and yeah he has a good amount of proficiencies nine and writing which is the main thing so yeah we can give him over any mount okay we made it back to chocolate dungeon this time it's long so i have very low hopes for it but uh we brought the imperial captain volans who has a full set of gear and then the goral and i have better hopes in terms of our loadout here but in terms of uh you know the fact that it's long it's gonna be really hard to fully clear it out although we could get some loot from the chests and there is apparently a chest on each level you are a sneaky little orc I'm just gonna tank a little bit and just uh, I don't know where the girl's at. Oh, he's stuck. Yeah, that's what happens. He is uh, not gonna be able to make it through that doorway. So I probably should kite units back to him, but I won't get caught as well. Could easily get caught in here. Oh man. They're unaware. I could just run for the exit. Should I just do that? They don't know. Run for the exit. Screw it. Oh, I made it. Yes. I don't know if the Goro can make it through that, so we'll see. As long as these guys are in the way, their archers will not fire. Oh god, this is the worst layout, actually. 
No, you guys move over. I'm trying to get them out of line of sight. There you go. Things are very unwieldy. Oh, we got the hit off though. And alright, just charge, I guess. Just charge it, boys. I'll just go for the chest. I think that's. Oh, I got hit. Really? Oh, the chest was right there too. After filling that, we ran into this caravan that gave us 500 gold for just letting them pass by. I think that's more worth than actually attacking them. And now I think we're gonna head back over to these villages. Actually, the lizardmen took over this castle, so we cannot loot this village anymore, but we can go for a tag end maybe. I will say being over here is pretty risky business, and I'm not gonna do any safe scumming or anything. Like, if a lord catches us and just takes us all out, it is what it is. That might be the end of the episode, to be honest, because I've tried five times at the tier one dungeon, and I just have not gotten lucky at all they've all been medium or long so i don't know but yeah the villagers are gonna resist and our skink priest instantly tried to aoe them down but it failed it was winds of magic one though i think that's why I'll just pull back a bit and try to give him some more time he casted blizzard on them and slowed their movement speed and it did this cool particle effect but no more aoe damage spell for those villagers and already we're gonna try to plunder the village this is scary and exciting it could be the end for us if we get caught by a lord, which it looks like we're okay. And already we made it a lot of salt here. Tons of salt, fine salt, got some regular salt, and we are going to be... Oh crap, I forgot to put more points into inventory management. So we're going to be losing a little bit of salt here, but that's alright. It's probably worth going up to 9 intelligence so we can get 3 in inventory management. We're going to be getting a lot of skill points and attribute points anyway, so it's not going to be that big of a deal. Once we can start clearing out the dungeons, that's ever a point that we're going to get to. Ram events, we lose 200 gold from the stinking fat hobbit. Smeagol is right, those hobbits are not to be trusted so it looks like the salt is actually not going to sell for that much here you can sell the oil here though and the furs but yeah let's go to the next lizardman town and that was at slax it might be good to buy salt there and then sell it to other lizardman towns and here we go we got a lizardman patrol fighting these amazon huntresses we're gonna let the patrol get taken out and the huntresses should capture a lot of them just gotta make sure we can ambush it right away. No, is it gonna get away? Oh no, it's not. Nice. I will say that was pretty scumbag-ish, and we might be getting some karma here. I wouldn't be surprised if they all focus me. No, we're okay. We have a lot of riders, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, lizardmen are better than Amazonian women. Ow, oh, yeah, that's karma right there. I'm about to wait for like another full two days to, before we can do the dungeon again. Yeah, we got a little karma for watching these guys get captured, but on the bright side, we're able to recruit them back. I think these skink stalkers can inflict poison, but I don't think they're that great otherwise. I think they're like really low range. The Scar Veteran is a really good unit to bring into the dungeon. It is beastly. Cold Wind Champions are good too. Not as good, but they're still really good. Revered Guardian is pretty good. It does use a two-hander though. In the next Lizardman town, there's a Mercenary Amber Skink Priest. I'll hire this guy. He's different than the one we have. And the potion seller as well, who will buy the fine salt for 547. So yeah, we were getting ripped off at the other place. He actually has no money, but we could buy like some potions of knowledge from him. So I'm like some fine salts, some regular salt, and some of his clothing. And at the marketplace, it will sell for 532. Was that the same price that we were getting from the potion seller, I wonder? I don't know, but yeah, it seems like it'd be really profitable to buy salt from the other lizardman town and sell it here. Yeah, that's 6.2k from just selling all that salt. I've also been investing a lot in the power strike, and at the arena master, we can pick up mighty blow for 3,000, and that gives us 4% damage for every point of power strike. So if we have 7 points of power strike, that's 28% more damage. That's quite a bit. For 3,000 gold, I think that's definitely worth. Also, we get more in Iron Flesh, we can get damage reduction. Ignore Pain was a bit more expensive, and right now I don't think it's that worth. It would have been a 16% damage reduction for like 5k gold, I think. So our mercenary contract ran out, and I did not renew it, so we're now at war with every faction. We were actually at peace with all of them, but I went back into it and edited it to make sure that we're at war with everyone, and that should be the way things are going to be until the very end. The Skaven is not at war with us for some reason. Okay, there we go. The Skaven are now at war with us. Everyone should be at war with us until the end of the playthrough, except for the Lizardmen. I didn't change their relations back to a war with everyone else because I didn't think there was any point. They're just going to declare peace. I would like to make it so it's a Lizardmen versus all, but it's just going to be me versus all. We're not going to have like any time limit to finish this, but maybe in future runs if someone can figure out how to make it so the Lizardmen is locked to war with everyone, that'd be like the most ideal. It looks like Talaxton was taken back by the Undead Pirate Kingdom, and now we can go raid Scorplax again, which probably won't have that much because we did raid it recently. Maybe we should just go over to like Zolani, although if we get caught over here, there's nowhere to run. So that might be a little bit too risky, but it's still at the edge. 
This thing was under siege. And yeah, look at our wages, dude. 3200. If we lose everything, it's not that big of a deal, I think. Oh, there's some lords over here. Yeah, I don't think we want to fight these lords. They have like 100 something troops there. Maybe we go far away from this action and we try to get deep into their territory. We go over to the back, maybe, and uh, we could sneak around. Okay, we're pretty deep into their territory. There's no lord here. And uh, let's try to raid the Linguini. Looks like their villagers are not even going to try to fight. So we have too many units. So. We don't have to waste time with that. And it looks like we might be able to get this off, which would be amazing. And alrighty, we were able to get it off. Well-made tools, spice, raw silk. Take all that yummy stuff. We're now going to try to sneak around on the outskirts and hopefully they do not know where we are. On our way back, we ambushed this caravan and they gave us 724 dinars for letting them go, which is pretty good. I think that's way more than we would have gotten for taking them out. And already we made it back with all the goods. The spice was going to sell for not that much the first lizardman town. I think the silk was going to sell for a bit more. I'm not sure about the rest of the stuff. Well-made tools for 1k. And we actually need as much money as we can get because there's a little surprise here and it looks like we might be able to afford it. It's going to bring us up to 10k. I'm not sure if that's enough, but we have the best companion in the game, I think, here, Gotrek. Oh, I can't take any more my party oops we're at 64 out of 45 company size i wonder why that is i think we might have had such a high company size because we were a mercenary of this faction so it gave us like 20 more party size pretty much any skink things that i see i'm just gonna dump they're just not that good i do believe the more mounted units we have the faster we are on the map too yeah let's just dump some of these sweetie riders they have really high value so we can only talk to go trek once more i think and if we fail this then he'll not talk to us again he's 9,000. okay nice so it looks like he might be able to carry us through the first dungeon, hopefully. And here's his stats. He's got 140 HP, 15 Iron Flesh, and I do think he has Ignore Pain or something like that. Well, I'm not 100%. 500 almost in proficiencies. And as far as his equipment, Gotrek body does not give him a crazy amount of armor. He has his Runic Axe as well, which does crush through blocks, bonus against shields. We need to give him a shield and like a helmet and some Dwarven gear, but for now, that's gonna have to do. So we made it back to the dungeon and here's the Scar Veteran stats. Dude is freaking beastly. I'm assuming his equipment is also really good. And then we got these Cold One Champions, which are also pretty good. We're bringing them in with Gotrek. And the idea is the shield people, they're gonna charge first and then the Gotrek is going to follow me. And he is not gonna be tanking right now. He can tank, but we're gonna keep him back. Uh, these guys look kind of beastly actually. This guy mainly. That's what I'm worried about. If I just block him from hitting my dudes, my shield's gonna actually break in a second here. Nice. Gotrek did take a little bit of punishment, but I think he heals it. Number two, this is a medium dungeon, by the way. Keep that in mind. Don't let him hit my uh, shield too much. Just let him on a higher level. We do need to start putting points in a leadership, so I kind of want to do that, but let's go one more intelligence for another point in inventory management and one more in iron flesh as well. I did get that up to seven because we drank two more XP pots. Yeah, this is good actually. Oh yeah. Get owned. Yeah, I think this lineup is going to be it. So this is going to be episode one right here, I think. It's going to be a long episode. I did not think it would be this hard to clear a tier one dungeon. He's got a ranged weapon, but... Uh... Ow, good lord. Maybe I use a healing potion here. Uh, yeah, I think I use it. Let's drop healing potion. We have so many, so it's not that big of a deal. I just don't want to get one-shot by something. Like this guy. Uh, don't know if I want anyone charging in there. Hmm. Got a little bit of a standoff here. This guy's being dumb, though. Yeah, good. Yes. Forsake your crossbow. Be a man. Good. No, don't hit. Really, you hit me through the shield. You jerk. I could have tanked that too without uh, dying if I'd saved my healing potion or whatever. Next dungeon. This is number three, I think. My mass, right? I mean, look for the chest, by the way, and they can be really valuable, so I should be looking for the chest. Some of the layouts are pretty hard to find the chest, though. Kind of depends, though. Like, on the first dungeon, I could have either fought another dude or looked for the chest. The last one though, I think we cleared out every enemy, so I might as well just look for the chest. But yeah, tier one dungeon's pretty easy. Like there's no casters for the most part. I don't think I've seen any casters yet. And uh only thing you have to worry about is range dudes. Try to tank this guy. Ow. 
think we just pull back and let these guys come to us. Maybe not. Shield, come up here. Everyone in charge. Good situational. No, he got killed as a champion. We have more of those, but not many more. Oh, this is gonna be harder. We're only gonna have two units now. Rip. That was like right at the end too. That kind of sucks. There's one more unit. Little we'll Gotrek got this. You know what that blue water reminds me of is Doom. The brightly colored, just otherworldly look of. Uh, is it called Doom One or Ultimate Doom? I don't even know. Reinforced iron greaves in this chest, 11k value. Wow. I don't think I can wear these. Yeah, I can't. Some dried meat and a one-handed weapon that might actually be better than what I'm using. 10 more damage, but less speed. But it does bonus against shields. Might as well use it. All right, we're on number four, I think this is. I'm not sure, but uh, I'm scared. I really don't want to do this again. He's some nice boots, though. Pretty sure these guys get bonus against shields with their cleavers. Maybe we just charge in. Can't be scared. Uh, man. Maybe we pull back, actually. Just one bowman that I'm seeing right now. Mm, took eight damage. Yeah, I don't know when to use a healing potion. I kind of want to save it till I take like one more hit. Really? Holy crap! That was close. It's good I saved it though. Ow! Really? Bro, what the heck? Yeah, my shield's gonna go down in a second. One more hit. Holy hell. We got a chest in here. And we got helmets, large bag of bod caneros, and some chicken. And it looks like I got a new shield or my shield replenished itself or something. I don't know why that happened, but it was about to break. And now it's not. Just this guy, Gotrek, took some punishment. Pretty sure he heals that up though in a second. Don't die to that guy. Oh my god. I could mic run, but got to a point right there where it was just better to let him charge, I think. I don't think I was going to be able to get it fast enough. Oh, I should be mic this better too. If he goes down, it's over. Like, we lose this 100%. So we have to still clear out a couple more rooms, I think. Okay, this is over. It's GG. There's no way. I could maybe run to the end. I see the best bet. Just chug healing potions. And actually just tank these guys. Chug healing potions if needed. Uh, healing potion. This is so brutal. Maybe another healing potion. Holy hell, we live. Wait. How do we survive that? Let's find the chest here, because this is such a small one. Oh yeah, it's right here. We got a hand crossbow and some plated boots. Pretty lame loot overall, but that's all right. Hopefully this is the end. Yes, we did it. We got a Chaos Dwarf Carbine. Looks like a pretty good gun. Florin actually has some good firearms. Some mail gloves for Chaos Dwarf. Maybe Gotrek actually could wear those because he's a dwarf. Warp Stone Armor though. Look at the cool particle effect that's going on with that. And that is really high value. I'm pretty sure it's only for Skaven if I had to guess. Pretty sure I can't wear it, but look at how that looks. That's really cool. It looks like that's a special loot because this Dread Sword is not that special, I think. And already, so we finally cleared out a tier one dungeon. The base game gives us 30 renown, but I'm gonna do a 100 renown times a tier of dungeon plus 10,000 gold times a tier of dungeon as well and then plus one attribute point and skill point times the level of dungeon and the purpose of this is just to lower the amount that we're grinding basically so that we can get to some of the actual content and we don't have to do the endless grind thing